that, yes, I drove to work again today. Uh, Victor Cruz is here <laughs> from Pro Polar. And uh, Super Bowl champion Victor didn't drive to work today. Uh, Cody didn't drive to work today, but I, the guy whose name's on the wall, I drove to work today. Uh, blue collar guy. Yes, That's what are. we do, Vic, right? Always been that Gotta way. stay home. Always been that way. Gotta Man stay home. All right, ja Jaguars, Jets. A lot of people want to make this about Trevor Lawrence and Zach Wilson, but when it comes to a career arc, you've got Trevor Lawrence going, woo, taking off like a, like a jet. <laughs> and you've got Zach Wilson down here riding mopeds, right? <laughs> so anyway, Trevor Lawrence was asked about the comparison between he and Zach Wilson, and rightfully so, he don't like it. Watch. Sunshine's all grown up, isn't he, huh? By the way, if you were him, and he's, he's balling out right now, and we all know the story about Zach Wilson, I wouldn't want to be compared to Zach Wilson either. I I'd, get it. I'd be annoyed too. Yeah. I, I would want to un understand that there's a clear delineation between myself and Zach Wilson. Obviously, we understand the draft day and all that, all of those implications, but I am an ascending quarterback that's playing really good football right yep. now, that is getting the ball out, winning games, taking care of the ball. And Zach Wilson's, his career has kind of been a little bit more up and down. More and down than up. More Sadly. down than up. And there's some things that I always look at character in the press conference, right? Like how you compose yourself, how you conduct yourself. And Zach Wilson had the little flub a couple weeks ago in terms of not taking ownership and when the team isn't doing well and, you know, being a leader on that team, that's what you have to do. Eli Manning used to take credit for losses, wins, ties, whatever it was. He put it all on him. Right. And sometimes as a quarterback, you have to do that. And I think Trevor Lawrence has a better trajectory of doing that. Than and as did. silly as that may sound to a lot of you watching, for these guys – it's a big deal because deal. the quarterback's going to be the face of the locker room. Yeah. So when the quarterback, you know, we all see a quarterback mm -hmm. play like crap when they do, and the quarterback says, it wasn't on me. Yep. You know, I look, talk to the other guys. The exactly. offensive line didn't block. Wide receivers dropped balls, ran the wrong rounds. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't catch the ball and throw the ball, that kind of stuff. Exactly. Or in Zach's case, when they scored three points against New England, mm -hmm. and he was the reason that they lost the game, and the reporter said to him, do you think you're owe your defense an apology? And he was kind of flippantly chewing gum, and he goes, no. <laughs> That was a problem, a that real a problem. problem. It's that's, tangible. That's a real problem, and that's something that circles back to the locker room that other guys are looking around, whether in that offense, whether in that defense, or on that team, period, that are coming looking around like, damn, Zach doesn't really care. Is he right. not really? Or even worse, is he's he, putting it on us. Exactly, and he's not really taking that onus. It's all of us. We're all out there, you know what I'm saying? But the quarterback understands that he's the leader. He takes the brunt of it, and then we'll go in the meeting room and figure it out. Which brings me to uh, an interesting uh, issue in a lot of locker rooms, mm -hmm. right? So everybody knows that running backs and quarterbacks buy gifts for their offensive linemen, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, that's an age-old thing. Wide receivers don't do it as much because they like to hang on to the money for jewelry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. Um, He's not so, lying. He's not lying. <laughs> so here's what's interesting to me. Saquon Barkley, running back Giants, and Daniel Jones, Giants quarterback. Mm -hmm. And while you don't count other people's money, we know they've made a lot of money combined. I said the other day they bought their offensive linemen uh, custom-made suits. Ooh, that, that doesn't make love sense that. to me because love that. Love that. you know a guy who's 6'4", 380, don't want to <laughs> run around in a suit all day because fat people don't like wearing suits. <laughs> it's real. So I was waiting to see what Zach Wilson was going to do because okay. I was very critical of that as a gift from guys who have a lot of money mm -hmm. who want to thank their offensive linemen for the work they do. They got him suits. Okay. It's a lousy gift, in my opinion, okay? So Zach Wilson got his offensive line a bunch of mopeds. That is a great gift. Because that's safe. <clears throat> is that's it? Safe. Thank you. <laughs> what happens safe. when his lineman yeah. uh, here crashes we go. in exactly. his yeah. broke his hand yeah. on his right. <laughs> Exactly. But it's a great gift. It is a gift. Yeah, yeah now, For sure. to be fair, if you look at those mopeds, I want to be fair about these things. I'm not sure if a 6'6", 370-pound guy <laughs> is going to successfully fit on a moped like that, but the thought that counts. I guess it's the thought that counts. For me, it just shows you which team is about business, Cody. You know what I mean? When you're about uh, business, you okay. put suits on. We're getting ready for a, a playoff run here, hopefully. Yes. We are in the business of being sartorial. We're going to wear yeah. suits. We're going to be ready for this game. Not just uh, running around on mopeds around. The now, line. you know, I always keep it real with you. I'm wearing green today. I'm yeah, no. Well, <laughs> not, not just that, sir, because you just made a comment about the difference between the Giants and the Jets. We're all about business. <laughs> Are we? Are we, Victor? Or you're on one boat, yeah. You're on one 
I see what you're doing here, okay? You I'm just charter one boat, Cody, I, and I'm it just, all goes downhill. I'm just wondering what's so businesslike about not wearing a shirt okay. with jeans on and Timberlands on. Turn over a new leaf. Yeah. <laughs> turn over a new leaf. Boy, did I, I leave that one to myself. Yeah. I'm just, no, Send no, yourself no, up. Uh, I think the most, I think the mopeds is a better gift than uh, than suits. That's just me. Uh, but here's the thing: the reason Zach Wilson got his offensive lineman uh, mopeds, it's because of them. Mike White can't play. Yeah. <laughs> right? He's like, thank you guys. Oh, for, yeah, I thank you for letting him get folded Appreciate like a table. <laughs> Like, if Mike White gets in, I'll get you another gift, right? <laughs> you want a Can-Am Spider? I got you covered. It's all good. Uh, to tonight's game. Um, you know, the weather's a factor, obviously. We know what Jacksonville did against Philly you know, in week four. Five turnovers, four fumbles on a pick for uh, Trevor Lawrence. It wasn't pretty, obviously. But let me talk to you from the Jet perspective. Okay. Zach's in battle, right? Zach Wilson doesn't make the easy plays look easy. Coach's mm-hmm. comments. What would the fair expectations be on him tonight in the Jets offense? I think he just has to go out there and manage the game. I think if he goes out there and makes those big plays when they're in front of him, right, there's always those shot plays, those plays down the field that kind of change the complexion of the game, but he just can't have those turnovers. And football in the NFL, it's all situational football, right? Those moments, those big key moments, third down, whether it's end of the quarter where you need points or at the end of the game, he has to be above the X's and O's in that perspective. Now, he hasn't really done so th- throughout the course of this season, but he has to figure out a way if the Jets have any chance, he has to have those moments where he can play above the X's and O's and, and, and make the big play. But it's defensively with the Jets that has to come after that yeah, quarterback. Yeah, they got to get some turnovers. They, get some tur- they have to build some turnovers and some big plays defensively in order for this team to and I, and I said it all week. Zach took uh, a lot of criticism after the loss last week against Detroit. But in my opinion, while he didn't play great, mm-hmm. You know, he led them on a drive for a touchdown that gave the Jets the lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense then didn't live up to their billing, right? Then he led them down the field again and got them into position to kick a game-tying field goal. So while Zach Wilson didn't play great, and the interception was a bad throw. Uh, you know, he looked at one guy the entire route and just kind of threw the ball up. Oh, so he takes some responsibility for it. I think if you just you know, throw out a blanket statement, well, Zach Wilson cost them the game, I don't think that's accurate. Correct. And I think it's easy. I think it's lazy narrative that it's always on Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson made a couple throws that three, four guys in the league can make, and that's about it. The problem that I can't figure out for a kid who's got the great arm, he's clearly a great athlete, is – why can't he make this throw? Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. he can't. And I'm not sure if that's in his head or what's going on, but he makes some throws that a lot of guys can't make. Yeah, he definitely has a, a, a sheer talent to throw the football, down the field, accuracy. He, he shows flashes of that. But those intermediate passes, those little dunk, dinks and dunks that Tom Brady's so good at over the years, and Eli Manning even was so good at over the years, those little plays that just continue to keep that drive alive. It's those little plays that he has to work on to build that consistency. And sometimes you just just get the ball to your playmakers and let those guys work. So uh, the guys will give you a pick on that game later on. They'll lose that pick, so I'm hoping they take the Jaguars. <laughs> hey there, thank you so much for watching the Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.